but it was more, I mean, I always tried to kind of, okay, let's run to the toilet and I'm oh, going to cry. Yeah, yeah. Let's go to oh, pick yeah. up your lunch. Let's get the coffee. And then I would cry. <laughs> and then I think also because I always had these rules of, it was my, my father, my dad's rule, which was don't cry at work. And I was always like trying to keep myself, mm, yeah, you know, like, <laughs> like don't cry. And, but yeah. I mean, yeah. I cried a lot, and I think a lot of the time it was because of the the tone, like, you know, the shouting, sometimes the, sh the tone was a bit aggressive, so I was not really used to, to, to it, and I would take just take it personal. Yeah, right? I just think it's so natural. I mean, mm. I'm, I'm really similar to uh, Polly and Maria all the time when I was a junior. Um, but really, if you look at, like, the ways that we are outwardly emotional, mm. Mm we're quite limited. Like I would never, uh, you know, as you were saying, we don't typically raise our voice. Like I think, I've, I think I've slammed the desk maybe once or twice. And I'm like, <laughs> I'd love to see it. Really hurt. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. Um, and so when you have this like pent up frustration, like everyone gets it, man or female, mm. how do you get rid of it? Like you actually, it just feels like you need to shock your body to just like release the emotion so mm. you can move on. Yeah. And more often than not, it's through crying for us. Yeah. But, I mean, don't get me wrong, like out of frustration, but also, you know, wrong time of the month, I will definitely be crying if someone <laughs> talks to me in the oh, wrong tone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It just is nature.